All right, so in the Seattle expansion draft yesterday, the Seattle Kraken took Joey Decord from the Ottawa Senators, goaltender Joey Decord. And I think I feel the same as a lot of Sens fans on this one. Upset, but I definitely understand. When I say understand, I mean that we have to look at this through the eyes of Pierre Dorian, and also a lot of Sens fans did want Philip Gustafson protected over Decord anyways. And for Pierre Dorian, I mean, he had a much larger sample size with Philip Gustafson than Decord. As we all know, Joey unfortunately got injured. Uh, I think in mid-March in a game against Vancouver, it might have been a knee injury or something like that. And he didn't really get, he being Pierre Dorian, didn't really get as much of a sample size as he did with Gustafson. So if Decord kept playing down the stretch, I definitely think he would have been the guy they would have protected over Gustafson. And because of the Decord injury, obviously we'll never know what would have happened in that situation. And when Seattle took Joey Decord, my first thoughts were, well, did Pierre Dorian even try to make a side deal with Seattle to see if maybe they could keep Decord? And yes, he did try to make a side deal with them. But with that being said, the asking price was too high, apparently. I don't know what the asking price was. It never came out what it was. But if it was something like their 10th overall pick in this year's draft, you probably don't want to do that if you're Pierre Dorian. And I know some people might be on the side of the fence that are like, it's not a very deep draft anyways. You know, they could have traded their 10th overall pick to keep the cord. I disagree with that. Even though it's not a deep draft, um, I think it's a very important draft for the Ottawa Senators. I think that they can get a player who can be a difference maker for them. Not necessarily this upcoming season, but maybe two or three years down the road and really help them going forward. I'm hoping it's a centerman they take, but who knows, the Sens seem to have a thing with taking defensemen, so maybe they'll stick with that trend. But either way, like I said, I do think they can get a player that can change their fortunes going forward here. All right, so let's talk about Chris Tierney and Evgeny Dadnov, who were both dangled out there, as we know, as bait for Seattle. Uh, I think so, the Sens could probably hang on to a guy like Decord. And I didn't want them to expose Tierney or Dadnov. I had them protected on my list initially there, what I would have uh, liked to see the Sens protect. But they're still here, so what do you do now? I mean, there's been some talk that they're going to get traded. I disagree with that. I think they should not get traded. Um, if you're Pierre Dorian, why would you trade these guys? I mean, yeah, they didn't have great years, but I think they can bounce back for the team, and I think they can be good, solid players for them. They're two NHL bodies, so why are you going to hand the reins over to some younger guys? And I know that's been the theme the last few years, considering the Sens are, have been a rebuilding team anyways. Now they're kind of coming out of it. But I think they're at the stage now where they got to hang on to some guys who have experience. And I know a lot of people maybe don't want to hear that because, you know, they're ready to write these two guys off because of one bad year. Look, I think Dadnov can bounce back. I also think Chris Tierney could bounce back as well. So don't be too hard on these guys. I think it might be a bit awkward for them coming into training camp. But, hey, you know, they're still with the, the brotherhood, the Ottawa Senators brotherhood. And we'll see how they do coming up this season. Hopefully they both bounce back. So those are my thoughts on the Sens and their Seattle expansion draft experience. Please let me know what you all think in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.